Nurendra sang again. O mother, make me mad with thy love. What need have I of knowledge or reason? Make me drunk with thy love's wine. O thou who stealest thy bhaktos hearts, drown me deep in the sea of thy love. Here in this world, this madhouse of thine, some laugh, some weep, some dance for joy. Jesus, Buddha, Moses, Gauranga, all are drunk with the wine of thy love. O oh, Mother, when shall I be blessed by joining their blissful company? A strange transformation came over the devotees. They all became mad, as it were, with divine ecstasy. The pundit stood up, forgetting the pride of his scholarship, and cried, O oh mother, make me mad with thy love. What need have I of knowledge or reason? Bijoy was the first on his feet, carried away by divine intoxication. Then Sri Ramakrishna stood up, forgetting all about his painful and fatal illness. The doctor, who had been sitting in front of him, also stood up. Both patient and physician forgot themselves in the spell created by Narendra's music. The younger Noren and Latu went into deep samadhi. The atmosphere of the room became electric. Everyone felt the presence of God. Dr. Sharkar, eminent scientist that he was, stood breathless, watching this strange scene. He noticed that the devotees who had gone into Samadhi were utterly unconscious of the outer world. All were motionless and transfixed. After a while, as they came down a little to the plane of the relative world, some laughed and some wept. An outsider entering the room would have thought that a number of drunkards were assembled there. A little later, Sri Ramakrishna resumed his conversation, the devotees taking their seats. It was about eight o'clock in the evening. Master, you have just noticed the effect of divine ecstasy. What does your science say about that? Do you think it is a mere hoax? Doctor, to the master. I must say that this is all natural when so many people have experienced it. It cannot be a hoax. To Narendra, when you sang the lines, O oh mother, make me mad with thy love, what need have I of knowledge or reason? I could hardly control myself. I was about to jump to my feet. With great difficulty, I suppressed my emotion. 
I said to myself, No, I must not display my feelings. Master, with a smile to the doctor. You are unshakable and motionless, like Mount Sumeru. You are a very deep soul. Nobody could perceive the deep emotion of Roop and Shanatan. If an elephant enters a small pool, there is a splashing of water on all sides. But this does not happen when it plunges into a big lake. Hardly anyone notices it. Radha once said to her companion, Friend, you are weeping so much at our separation from Sri Krishna. But look at me. How stony my heart is. There is not a tear in my eyes. Brinde, her friend, replied, Yes, your eyes are dry, but there is a deep meaning in it. A fire of grief is constantly raging in your heart because of your separation from Krishna. No sooner do the tears gather in your eyes than they are dried up in the heat of that fire. Doctor, nobody can beat you in talk. Laughter. The conversation turned to other things. Sri Ramakrishna described to the doctor his ecstasies at the Kineshar. He also told him how to control anger lust and the other passions. Doctor, I have heard the story that you were once lying on the ground unconscious in Samadhi when a wicked man kicked you with his boots. Master, you must have heard it from him. The man was Chandro Haldar, a priest of the Kali temple at Kalighat. He often came to Mothur Babu's house. One day, I was lying on the ground in an ecstatic mood. The room was dark. Chandro Haldar thought I was feigning that state in order to win Mothur's favour. He entered the room and kicked me several times with his boots. It left black marks on my body. Everybody wanted to tell Mothur Babu about it, but I forbade them. Doctor, this is also due to the will of God. Thus you have taught people how to control anger and practice forgiveness. In the meantime, Bijoy had become engaged in conversation with the other devotees. Bijoy, I feel as if someone were always moving with me. He shows me what is happening even at a distance. Narendra, like a guardian angel. Bijoy, I have seen him, meaning the master in Thaka. I even 
touched his body musta with a smile it must have been someone else narendra i do have seen him many a time to be joy how can i say i do not believe your words